In the last tutorial, we took a look at using query posts in order to um, get posts out of our database in WordPress and run a loop. This time, we're going to be using the WP query um, function instead. It's just another method of doing it. And it's also very, very powerful. So the first sample that I have here says we're going to get the, f the last four posts from all the different categories. Now, if you remember, we've got six different posts in our database, three events and three news. So if we're getting four, that means that we should just get three news and one event because our news were created second. Now, the way this works is that I say, let's run a query, a custom query, and we're going to um, make that equal to a, a WP query function. And we're going to say an argument in here that says get post per page equals four. Now, if you want to find out about the different um, types of um, other query things that you can do or other arguments you can do, I definitely suggest that you go to the reference on WordPress Codex because here's where you'll be able to find out so much more about using these. This will have um, great reference to different types of things there. Queried object, query, current post, found post, max num pages. There's all sorts of stuff that you can add to this. So anyway, going back to this, um, that first one just gets four posts. Pretty easy. Now I'd like to actually add a little bit more to it. So here I'm going to say let's get an array and this array is going to be the category name um, equals news. So now it's just going to get the news items. And it's very common just to say I want news items. Well, I could actually go ahead and add news items and only four. So I could say category news and then post per page. And you want to see the syntax. When you have just single items, sometimes you have it this way. And then you might have a um, ampersand here. And then you'll have other things to it. But I'm going to separate that out. And post per page. And then we have to equals caret three. Actually, I'll just do two. And so now what this is going to do is get the category that's news and only show two of the posts. And then um, it runs the loop, gets that, and then resets the post data. So pretty easy to understand. Now, look, I did the exact same thing down here, actually. This one is a little bit different, though. And the reason why this one's different is because here I'm making a temporary um, variable called arguments in order to put that array into the arguments and then I do new WP query and just put in the um, variable there instead of having to type all of that stuff into the array for um, WP query. It's just a different way of doing it but very common you see it all the time. Anyway the end results of this would be if I were to see it on the site you'll see we can get all the news posts which we could have limited it to two and I can get two event posts. So this is how they um, are able to get just the information they want um, in t themes and templates for WordPress. So let's go on to the last tutorial, which is on getting um, get posts, the page get posts.